Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, something might change in our task manager to show us the speed of transfer of the RAM memory and there's a, um, a reason for that. Um, for a long time we looked at RAM speeds as the speed that is clocked which is the number of cycles per second. So in fact when we were looking at RAM memory the speed that was written here 2400 megahertz for example in my example here meant 2.4 billion um, cycles per second for a long time this was a good measure because it was always increasing the number of cycles per second would give you the speed relative speed and um, as you had more and more megahertz, well, you had more transfers because you had more cycles per second. Now, things are changing with the new implementations in technology. What's happening is that companies have been able to push more data with the same clock cycle. So that means a 2,400 megahertz transfer today on RAM could be uh, as fast, if not, if not faster than a 3,000 megahertz trans, uh, cycle per second um, from five years ago. And this is because they've found new ways of pushing data and using each cycle more efficiently. So the next step, and this was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3 on X uh, that I've often mentioned uh, that uh, has all of these little scoops. He's found that Lately, in the latest builds, when you turn this feature on with Vive Tool, uh, it changed to MT slash S. That means mega transfers per second. So instead of measuring the clock speed and the number of cycles, it's measuring the number of transfers every second, which will give a more accurate way of saying, this is the speed of the memory. This is how much transfers per second you're getting. So that means that as time goes by, these will show faster transfers per second than the actual number of the clock speed. So uh, I think this is probably a necessary change at some point because it reflects much more the reality of how much data is being transferred from RAM to the computer itself. So this is in the latest Insider builds, apparently, in the Canary and Dev. Uh, it just isn't turned on by default. So I guess this will make it at some point into our PCs and will, once again, reflect a lot more the reality of how much speed we're getting and how much transfers we're getting out of RAM. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.